Hey guys, Junkyard Joe, and welcome to day two of this war of mine with Katia, Bruno, and Pavle. So, Pavle was scavenging in the uh, abandoned cottage, and he found some supplies. Now, everyone is tired. I had both Katia and Bruno standing guard, and Pavle was out searching. So, we're gonna need some beds. Luckily, I got some building materials when I was at the cottage. So we're gonna make two beds. We got the supplies for it. We're gonna place them in the basement where it's safe. In case there's some shelling, you know? And they're all caught sleeping. You don't wanna get caught sleeping. Nah, you don't wanna get caught sleeping in the shelling. <sighs> So, I'm gonna have two of them work on the beds, and I'm gonna have Bruno check what's on the radio. Let's see. Same music. Nothing new with Radio 1. Nothing new on City today. The weather is still the same. Let's put on some classical music. Let's have Bruno clear some rubble. Alright, a bed is done. Let's have Pavle take a nap. And another bed is done. Let's have Katia take a nap. They should be less tired sometime in the middle of the day. Let's hope I don't have to wake Katia up to do some bartering. Because you always want to use her when uh, Franco comes to your door looking to trade some goods. If you don't have Katia with you, then he'll screw you over. I mean, that's just the way of the world. But with Katia, you can take basically everything he has. 10 o'clock is always the time that neighbors, visitors, or Franco show up. Since no one showed up, we can rest easy that no one else is going to show up today. see some herbs some water clean water and some jewelry always good now jewelry is for when you want to go scavenging and uh, trading like you're going to a known trading post and you know you want to get good stuff but either Katia's out of commission or you just don't have her or, you know, you just don't have the time to do her uh, trading technique to steal everything. Plus, the traders you find out there have some redundancies of things you can't trade back. So, it's always good to take jewelry in that case because it's just a valuable item that there is no other use for besides trading. So, you sort of just take it out for trading out in the, you know, in the square or in the church or at the military outpost. That or booze. They love booze. Alright. Pavle is done resting, which means he can start clearing the rubble. And Bruno can get some sleep. And now Kadi is done. So let's just have her sit in a chair for now. Just relax. And let's see what's in the bathroom. Probably some medicine, bandages... Hmm, let's see if we can upgrade the workbench. Do we have the materials for that? Ah, uh, we're just short. Gonna have to send Pavle back to that cottage. <clears throat> Come on, Pavle. Oh, but let's check, what do we need to upgrade the... We need even more materials. Yikes. What do we need to upgrade the stove? Somewhere in the middle of those two requirements. 
Now you might be wondering, why am I not feeding them if they're hungry? Well, the stove isn't an improved stove, so I'd be wasting fuel. And they're just hungry. They're not very hungry. When they're very hungry, that's when you want to feed them. If they're not hungry, then they get hungry pretty quick. If they're very hungry, then you feed them till they're just hungry, and then it's a little longer before they're very hungry again. It's pretty cruel, I know, but it's the best way to conserve food, and that is how a lot of people actually have to conserve food. You don't eat until you're full or at least not hungry. You eat until it just doesn't hurt anymore. Some bandages, some herbs, uh, lumps of sugar, and books. Alright, we got everything that's useful. Let's just end the day. Looks like Bruno still is... Oh, he's just sick. Alright, let's have him sleep in the bed so he's not... So he can recover from that sickness. Let's have Pavle go scavenging. Ooh, the church. St. Mary's Church is still a place for me of meetings for the local community. Priest Olek is known for his charitable work and offering refuge to the poor. He might have something to give away or trade. The vestry behind the church is devastated and abandoned. We could find some useful materials there. Some food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, lots of parts, possible trade, caution advised, and the garage. Before the war, you could have your car repaired there. It was a decent family business, run by an impulsive son and his elderly father. If they still live there, they might be willing to trade with us. Alternatively, we might find lots of useful parts there and maybe even some food. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, lots of parts, possible trade, caution advised. So, St. Mary's Church, it's good to know that Olek and his flock are still alive, because in some playthroughs, they're dead, and uh, bugs have taken over the building. And the garage, always a good place to trade. They also sell tools there, so you don't have to make them yourself. But let's go to the shelled cottage again. Just go in, get some materials, run out. Or we could experience a new location. Let's go to the shelled cottage. We'll check out the decrepit squat in the next video. And this should be pretty quick. We're just going to have Pavle run in and just grab some basic building materials and run right back out. So, you know, not much longer. It's easy because, again, we centralized all our loot in one location. Let's see, some weapon parts would be nice, but what's important? What is important? We need components that we do. See, now the components pool is a bit low. Now we grab some wood. There's still plenty left for a lot of return trips. But for now, let's get going. And he ran. Pavle is back. Well, that was a fast scavenging run if I ever saw one. Alright, day free. At least it isn't cold. Found plenty of really fine stuff. What a night. Oh! We've been raided. Alright, next video we'll see what happened exactly while Pavle was out scavenging. But for now, this is Junkyard Joe, and I'll see you guys in the scrapyard next time. Bye.